The National Film Board presents the Honorable D.L. Campbell, Manitoba's Minister of Agriculture. Agriculture is Canada's basic industry. The age-old responsibility of feeding the people of the world is equally important in war and peace. It is therefore our duty to bring to this essential industry the advantages of electrical power which nature provides in the rushing waters of this great land. The farm electrification program will give people on the land many benefits of this scientific age. The greatest war of all time has ended, but the post-war years present problems of production and marketing for agriculture. Canada, as a major exporting country, will have to compete in world markets, both as to the quality and quantity of her products. This is especially true with regard to the protective foods, such as meat, milk, butter, cheese, and eggs. Electricity on the farm will raise the standard of home life. It will contribute materially to greater volume of high quality products, and this at a minimum cost of production. Mr. Herbert Cottingham, Chairman of the Manitoba Power Commission. The Manitoba Power Commission is governmentally owned. It belongs to the people. Its existing network of 2,100 miles of transmission is an ideal foundation to extend services to the farmer. Out of 58,000 farmers in this province, we believe we can serve 53,000 and will do so as rapidly as labor and material is available. The work is now underway. You can see the construction gangs throughout the country. There's plenty of power, 10% of the available power on the Winnipeg River is sufficient. Electricity will do for the farmer what it does for industry. Decrease labor and increase production. It will make the farm home as comfortable as the home of the city dweller. The success of this project depends in a large measure on the cooperation of the farmer, both in the construction and in the maintenance of the project. In this film, you will see how the farmer, your neighbor, profits by the use of electrical energy. this municipal council cooperate with the Power Commission in carrying on a survey in this district just as soon as possible. I second the motion. The sooner we get it, the better. Gentlemen, you have heard the motion. Are you in favor? Aye. 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 Now, let us get the Hydra man up here for a public meeting. We've waited long enough for electricity on the farm. Here, here, here. Here. Just 10% of the power from this great river will electrify 60,000 farms. Power to remove the drudgery from daily work. Power to increase production on the farm 
and bring modern conveniences to replace the old. In Manitoba, a program to electrify the farms was planned on an area coverage basis to include all farmers in a given area. Great changes on the farm. The Power Commission is yours. It is a public utility. Your government has embarked on a farm electrification project, but your active support and cooperation are necessary to make it a success. You can have the advantages of city living on the farm if you will work for it. The plan required a high sign-up of the farmers. It required the will of the people behind it. Some of us have wanted power for years. How can we speed it up? That's up to you, gentlemen. Support your municipal council to get a maximum sign-up in your district. If you will do your part, we'll do the rest. Will everyone in the municipality be able to get this service? The entire municipality will receive service. But those districts that are thickly settled and have the largest sign-up will receive it first. When we do get the power, will we be able to have our walk-in refrigerator and our own quick freeze unit? We're working on that now. We can give you blueprints so you can build your own refrigerator and install a quick freeze unit at minimum cost. When you get this kind of refrigeration on the farm, you'll be able to quick freeze your fruits and vegetables and be done with the long, hot job of canning. I have a bulletin here on quick freeze, if you'd like to have it. I am a renter. Can I get in on this? Yes, yeah, certainly. But it will be necessary for the owner to wire the buildings or to get his consent for you to wire them. We expect that within five years, all owners will have to wire their buildings if they want good tenants. What's going to happen if prices fall and we can't pay the minimum bill? What if we can't raise the three sixty a month to pay for our electricity? Well, a few years ago, three dollars and sixty cents was quite a sum of money. But we can't let that stop us now. Surely we have more faith in that in the future. Well, you know, in the old days, all we had was a tallow candle stuck in a square box with four little panes of glass. That was our lantern. And that was all the light we had. And we just had to put up with it. The country is growing up, and we have to go with it. Electricity is here, and as far as I can see, there's just no argument about it. That's all. Yes, that's right. The main thing is to get in. Let's get going and see how soon we can do it. It'll pay for itself. We'll be able to produce more pigs, eggs, and milk faster and cheaper when we have the power to help us. I'll volunteer as a committee man to look after my district. That's fine. Uh, how about six or seven more? How about you? I'll Joe? take my district. We want the hydro. You can depend on me. Let's get organized. Now's a chance to get some meals away from home. <laughs> I'll go to the Smith's. She makes the best pies in the district. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we've got the best municipality in the province. You said it. We should get a good sign up in this district. Let's get out and get around before it frees up. Now look, fellas. Get out of the work. Put your shoulder to the wheel and put this thing over. If I live in the middle of a section, how much do I have to pay for the line? Nothing. We'll bring it right into the yard on the same basis as the farmer who lives beside the road. How do we know this isn't just another political racket, just another promise? Because too many people are demanding it. That's why. We could have the poles up right along this road by spring if you and a few others would sign up right now. Well, I'll wait until I see them go up. But we won't get them if we don't get a good sign up. Just let a few other districts try it and get stung. I'll wait and see. Some landlords didn't want to spend the money for wiring. A lot more stuff by electricity on the farm. You and I would get on a lot better, Mr. Perkins. I can't afford to put power in on my farm. Why, it wouldn't pay me. You're going to hurt the whole district unless you come in. Well, it's just throwing good money away. It wouldn't pay us. Why, it would cost... Some school board money. members refused. It might cost us $25 a year for electricity. Half of that is holiday time. Waste of money, I call Some it. Some farmers were just plain stubborn. Are you content to carry that old lantern to the barn and hang it on that wire, drag it along at the tail end of your cows, and keep your wife and family in the dark when you can flip a switch and light up the whole place? Andy, you have been living in the state of darkness for the past 50 years. 
Now we can give you light at your fingertips. No, I can't see it your way at all. Use your brains, man. Look what it means to you and your family. But the will of the community was more stubborn. I'll be going now, but remember, I'll be back. Some elderly people hesitated. But you see, Mother and I have reached an age where we feel that we can get along for the rest of our lives without it. It's too bad they feel that way. They sure deserve it if anybody does. Let it go for now. I'll see what I can do about it. We've got to get after Andy. He influences a lot of people around here. If he doesn't sign up, none of us will get it. Let's go over and talk to him again. Come on, let's go. Let us put the heat on that. Stuff. I'll sign for Mom and Dad. I want them to enjoy it while they can. That's the way to look at it, Bill. It'll be a great thing for them. Why, man, you're holding up 12 families. It's not fair to the district. You can afford it as well as the rest of us. Come on, now. Sign up. Well, you boys, hit me up again the wall. And I'm going to play the game with you, and I'm going to sign up. Boy, that's good. Well, I'll be pleased with what you've done, neighbor. I propose we sign this contract immediately and install good modern lighting. All agreed? I agree. Here, Bill, sign it. But the will of the community overrode the obstacles. And to most farm people, the coming of power to the farm was a dream come true. Is that a surprise or something? Shows how much you know about your mother. I used to cook my breakfast on this when I lived in the city. That was before you were born. Can we use them, Mom? We can now. I brought these with me because I thought we might get the power. You had them a long time, didn't you, Mom? Yes, we've talked about electricity for years, and now we're going to have it. And so power is coming to the farmyards. What's going on in Manitoba is being repeated in various ways all over the country. Power is coming to the farms. When it came into our district, we couldn't believe it at first. Most of us had to see the poles go up before the thing seemed real. As the trucks passed down the road, and the crews worked their way from farm to farm, electricity became a reality. It was here. The coming of the transformer into our yard meant the arrival of power. Very soon we would have lights in the house and buildings, water on tap, and motors to save labor. We had lots of questions to ask about wiring, how to be sure it was well done, and be sure of future needs. Farmer's cost begins after the yard pole is up. You pay for the wiring in your yard and buildings. The commission is spending hundreds of dollars to carry poles and wires into the farm yard. 
How can I get my wiring done? You can do it yourself, if you know how, or you can hire a contractor. Contractors are licensed by your government. Hold back 10% of the contractor's price until the hydro inspector okays the job. Remember to put in enough outlets in your house and buildings. What do you mean by outlets, and how do we know where to put them? An outlet is any place where the electricity is let out of the wires to do its work. Place them where you'll want to use a refrigerator, washing machine, radio and floor lamp, and all the other things. Be sure now that you have enough plugs to use all of them conveniently. It will save money in the long run if you plan for the future. I wish you could have seen the women in our community talking about their new kitchens, searching for information so that they could be sure the wiring was done properly. They wanted the lights placed properly in the kitchen, one over the workbench and one over the dining room corner. They wanted switches placed to save footsteps and avoid awkward extensions. They wanted each member of the family to be able to read in comfort. When the power came to our district, we knew our children were in a well-lit school. It's a great comfort to know their eyesight is protected. Now we've got the power, we're talking about school lunches and more concerts and fun in the evenings. For the men, it meant more comfort in the house and more help outside. I guess there's nothing we value more than having our water pumped by power. A small quarter horse motor will lift water 100 feet. And most of us are looking forward to installing a pressure system to get water on tap. For the average farmer, water on tap means half the work. One man can milk 20 cows with a two unit machine. A three horse motor drives the compressor. When you've got water under pressure, it can be hooked up to a modern milk cooler and a little quarter horse motor will drive your separator. A 60 watt lamp under a hood will keep your little winter pigs warm if they're in a well ventilated building. Our hens like pleasant surroundings. We found there were a number of ways to make the hen house more comfortable. A heater will save carrying water from the house. When you pour in cold water at the top, the warm water runs out at the bottom. Or you can warm it with a small heater in a pail. A thermostatic controlled ventilator keeps the hen house dry. The average honey extractor can be run with a quarter horse motor. An electric knife decaps the combs. It always amazes us farmers to find out what an electric motor will do. It's ready to run in all kinds of weather. A three horse motor will do most of the heavier jobs on the farm. I feed my crusher from an overhead bin. I can go away and let it crush while I feed the cows. The same motor will mix the feed for the livestock and a small portable motor will clean the grain. With power on a farm, you can do a lot of jobs right at home. Quarter horsepower motor can be moved around to drive an emery wheel, a steel drill, a rotary power saw. You just plug in to use a sander for taking the surface off old furniture or to use your soldering iron. A compressor unit for blowing up tires will save you money and time if you have enough tires to make it worthwhile. I used a quarter horse motor and an old flywheel off a gasoline engine to make a wood chopping machine. It chops all our winter wood in half a day. My neighbor used a quarter horse motor to bring water from a nearby stream to irrigate his garden. Now that they're sure of water, they say they're going to have fresh strawberries next winter. They're going to take them to the quick freeze plant in town. Here's what a 12 year old boy did to save work after school. But to all of us farmers, the coming of power meant first of all, a modern home. It meant we could have a bath whenever we wanted one, once we got our pressure tank installed to force water to the bathroom and kitchen. And an electric heater to give hot water, summer and winter.
No more water to lug from the well. No more Saturday night bath by the kitchen stove. A neighbor of mine has one of the smartest kitchens in the country. When they knew they were going to have the power, they remodeled their old one to make the best use of refrigeration. Running water. And electricity for cooking. They planned it all to save steps. They turned an old summer kitchen into a utility room to do the washing, ironing, and extra jobs. They figured it all out to make the best use of space. All the women in the district are getting good ideas from this kitchen. A well-lit, roomy cupboard holds the outside clothes, and labor-saving equipment is tucked away in a convenient corner of the utility room. When their friends and relatives know they've got the power, they'll be present like an electric kettle, an electric mixer, and all sorts of new things. With an electric oven, a hot meal can be taken to the field. Their new refrigerator has a quick freeze section. It will keep a week's supply of frozen foods. We're going to have a walk-in refrigerator. A room for chilling milk and meat. With a special quick freeze section to freeze meat, fruit and vegetables. This section will keep them at below zero temperature. Now we've got the power, we can quick freeze our foods at home. Or we can use the local quick freeze plant. And so the work to electrify the country goes on. Maintenance crews keeps the line operating. Switch over to alternative lines in case of trouble to be sure that power is supplied. As more lines go up across the country, as the crews work through winter and summer, through flat country and rugged, Power is coming to the farm.